Hey everyone, welcome to Now Valley Diorama. This channel is all about a diorama I'm building at the moment. Um, it's a city diorama set in the future, not too distant future. Um, it features a better way of living and a much, much simpler lifestyle for all the residents. So um, I'll fill you in a bit more as the, the videos progress and my diorama progresses. Uh, in this video though, I'd like to um, go right back to the start and just go through a few of the thoughts and ideas I had in my head to get my diorama to this planning stage. Uh, so let's go and have a look. Thinking about the subject of the future, my first thoughts went to one of my all-time favourite movies. I don't want to copy it exactly, but I'd like to get some ideas. This scene from Back to the Future 2 was filmed at Universal Studios, and I'd like to use the, the layout of this area. So what I did, I went to Google Maps and searched for Universal Studios Courthouse Square. That's the name of the area. Here it is here, and if I zoom in, you can see just around here is the area. So what I did, I took a screenshot of that and loaded it into Adobe Illustrator. And remember I mentioned earlier that my city is going to have a brand new way of living. That different way of living is going to be determined by the government in a good way. So we had to have a government building so I thought I'd place it there. A restaurant and diner. We need a car park. Somewhere to buy groceries and pantry items that aren't fresh. We need some roads. Because where we're going, we need roads. Let's move that a bit. Uh, make, make room for a little car park over this side. Uh, outdoor cafe and snacks. Need that. This is going to be an easy way of living. Fruit and veg, freshly grown, um, fresh dairy, and a cafe, and a dairy processing plant. Um, fruit and veggies, freshly grown, and the rest of the area is going to be taken up by livestock, cows, sheep, and everything. Now, fuel. It's not going to be the fuel that you know and we need a fuel plant as well slash energy so there's the layout i decided to go with and as for scale and size i wanted it to be um, small enough so i could fit as many pieces in as i possibly could but also have it large enough so i could photograph it properly and um, also model some of the finer finer details the scale I decided on was HO, which is 1 to 87. My next step was to work out how big this diorama is going to be. And I worked out that a good size for a main street is 9 metres. So I went to the trusty phone app that I found, typed in 9 metres as the actual item size and the scaled item size worked out to be around 103 millimetres. So the scaled size of the road is 103 millimetres. That makes my whole diorama work out to be approximately 800 millimetres, which is quite big. I don't know where I'm going to put it when I'm finished, but I'll worry about that later. As for the materials uh, to build it out of, I thought this polystyrene sheet might be a good solid base, which is lightweight as well. Um, I think it was off a fridge out of the packaging or something like that. But I just thought it would be a nice um, solid sort of lightweight base to build it all upon. And to give it a little bit of extra strength, I came across this in the hardware store. It's ram board and it's basically cardboard 
um, that can be used as temporary protection for, for new flooring, um, any sort of thing like that. I thought I'd use it just to glue over the top of the polystyrene sheet to give it a bit of extra strength. Um, and I think I can also use it for layering. It's only uh, about a millimetre thick, just under. Um, it can be layered as well if you need it thicker. And being a paper-based product, the good old-fashioned white glue or PVA glue will stick it really well. So I went ahead and glued one layer over the entire piece of polystyrene to form the pathways and the gutter on the road. I glued two pieces together to form the height of the gutter and the bases for the buildings. Well, wow, those pedestrians sure do need a coat of paint, but I will get to that. As you know, it's a long process. I've only just begun and I'm looking forward to every minute of it actually. I'm really keen. So thank you very much for watching. I'll leave it there. If you'd like to leave a comment, by all means do that and subscribe as well. That would be very much appreciated. But until next time, see you then.